Hello, Kev Edwards from Rally here. Uh, welcome back to another video. It's been a while, uh, but hoping that WRC is enough to bring me back onto the rig uh, and get me psyched for making videos again. Uh, had a few little goes of this, uh, maybe six or so hours, five, six hours, something like that. Feels really nice. There's a couple of issues with the ultra wide monitor where it's not, I can't fully see stages the UI is kind of out of sync which is a little bit annoying which is uh, that's going to put me off doing a career mode I think until that's fixed they have addressed it uh, so hopefully that gets fixed soon enough uh, gonna jump into a New Zealand stage uh, absolutely fantastic stages um, I think what I'll do is I'll try it on a soft tire uh, and see how the soft tire handles the epic stages the long epic stages compared to like wrc8 uh, a little bit rusty because i've not been in the rig for like three four months so still finding my feet uh, and i'm still sort of finding my feet with this game as well uh, setup wise so i haven't really played around with the setups too much i've just tweaked a little thing here and there so i'm looking forward to really delving into that uh, let's put on a soft tyre. Uh, I don't even know what my difficulty is on. Let's put uh, difficulty. Let's whack the difficulty up. Let's see how far off the pace we are. Um, let's see. Set up. Did I have a set up? I think. I, yeah. Yeah. So I've just I've tweaked a couple of little things here and there. I don't think it's done anything with the diff. I brought the brake, brake balance back and up the transmission, that was it. Don't know how how good it is or what, like I say, it's just a quick look. So, yeah, let's uh, let's jump in, see how we do. Into left 
Okay, I'm going to leave that there. Uh, once those tyres wear out, it becomes really difficult. Um, the nice thing I noticed as well, you saw the, the majority of the stages on that c compressed, uh, tough gravel. Quite a lot of grip on it. And then there's a section where you seem to get on this uh, looser, maybe like a sandy, sandier type stuff. The second you hit that gravel, you know... You haven't got the same amount of grip. You feel it in the wheel, and you feel it in the movement as well. You know straight away you've kind of got to back off, um, and then you get back onto the good stuff, and you can sort of go again. Uh, also, as my tyres started to uh, wear out, you start to feel that in the wheel and through the force feedback as well. The car becomes like sort of really twitchy and light, and wants to move around a hell of a lot more. And it becomes quite a challenge to, to keep it on the road um, so yeah fantastic uh, one of the things they've really done well there's a lot of stuff I don't like about the game I say the UI is not too great and the graphics are like it's like an ugly bird with a snapchat filter on it's like the, the graphics aren't great but there's kind of this sort of sort of filtery type stuff going on that kind of tricks you into thinking that it looks okay but really um they're not great visually there's a lot of noise going on as well when you're trying to pinpoint places on the stages there's a lot of kind of like i don't know pixel pixelation maybe and a bit of graininess and yeah it's just very busy and sometimes quite hard to see where you're going on the stage and i've got all the graphics on full at the minute as well and um, so maybe i need to have a little play around and see if i can take that sort of edge off it uh, but yeah really good job so far looking forward to giving a career mode a go um, thanks for watching and don't forget like subscribe and hopefully i'll see you on some get some videos rolling out for you uh, thanks again <laughs> Oh, <laughs>